This Advent season, we will be using the book, The Last Straw, as we journey towards Christmas. In this story, we will meet a camel named Hashmakaka. He is very proud and believes himself to be very strong. In this story, he is given a very special job to do. Hashmakaka, the old camel, was asleep in the desert night. He dreamed of all the water in the world and a hump that could hold an entire sea. Hearing voices, Hashmakaka opened one eye. Hashmakaka, 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 Hashmakaka. Reluctant, reluctantly, Hashmakaka opened the other eye. Why should I wake up? He grumbled. The sand whirled up into the moonlit sky. You have been chosen, you have been chosen. The voices whispered. The sand seemed to shift again. You will carry gifts to a baby king. Who are you? Hashmukaka wanted to know, for he was an old camel and felt he had earned his sleep. You will carry frankincense and myrrh and gold. The wise men have chosen you. Hashmukaka got up very slowly. Why me? If these men are so wise, don't they know about my joints, my gout, my salaika? What do you say I am to carry? How much will it weigh? Besides, I have other commitments. There's a water drinking competition in Rangal, and I really must go to the Kudshun Convention in Beamish. The sand blew furiously, cutting into the black night. Hashmukaka was startled and decided he had better do as the voices said. Who knew what made the sand move like creatures with great wings? When do I start? He asked carefully. Today. With that, the sand voices disappeared, and it was morning. It was still early as the servants of the wise men placed the precious gifts onto Hashmakaka's back. The young camels ran to their good friend. They all looked up to him because he was old and they thought him wise. You, you must be, be a very special camel, camel, they sighed. I am very special. Hashmakaka puffed out his chest in pride and then said something a little foolish. I'm not so old. I'm still as strong as ten horses. And I've been chosen to carry rich gifts to a new baby king. Can we come too? Asked the youngest camel, who never wanted to be left behind. Aren't we your friends? Shouted another. You can walk beside me. Hashmakaka replied in his most regal voice, and the long journey began. Stay tuned for next Friday as Hashmakaka begins his journey. <laughs>